Action Patriots. Today is Marvelous Monday, March 27, 2023. I'm your news anchor, Reed. And I'm your co-anchor, Cameron. Today on the morning news, we'll see if you can figure out where Miss Greco is today. She has another episode of Where in the World Old for Us. Take it away, Miss Greco. Hey Patriots, Miss Greco here for another episode of Where in the World is Miss Greco. So last time I challenged you to discover what country I was located in that is a part of Europe. And I was really surprised because it's not an easy country and it's a country that maybe many of you hadn't heard of, but I was really surprised at how awesome everybody did at figuring out that I was in the country of Romania. This week's Where in the World, Miss Greco, was actually suggested to me by Katie Lee in Miss Opitz's class. So Katie, keep a secret, can't tell anybody, okay? All right, so the country that I am located in is in the continent of Asia, and it's often referred to as an S-shaped nation due to the shape it takes on a map. So when you look at a map, the country takes the shape of an S. Maybe that's a little bit of a clue. New Year's is actually celebrated in February because the country doesn't use the calendar like we use, which is called the Gregorian calendar. They actually use a lunar calendar to celebrate traditional events. So they don't even celebrate the new year until February. How interesting. There are 392 rivers in this country running across both the top and the bottom of the country. And rivers are very important for transportation, for travel, people even live on the rivers. So river life is a big deal in this country. Teachers, listen up, you're gonna love this one. Teachers are extremely respected, highly respected in this country. They even have a national day dedicated to teachers where students and families bring in gifts and show gratitude. The school's filled with activities. They even have like former students called alumni come back in and celebrate teachers. So, I mean, we have Staff Appreciation Week, but I think we need to step it up a little bit and do what this country does. My last clue for you is about the national flower. The lotus is the national flower of this country, and it's widely grown across the country. It's actually an aquatic plant, meaning that it grows in muddy ponds. And part of the reason why it's the national flower is because it's also a symbol of beauty and it's such a beautiful flower, but yet it grows out of mud. So the flowers and the leaves are almost waterproof and they float above the water and to the surface that allows the plant to get sunshine to continue to grow. <clears throat> so the national flower is the lotus. Okay, I'm going to recap these five clues for you and see if you can use a source to figure out where I'm located. Clue number one is that it's a country in Asia. And when you look at a map, the country is shaped like an S. Number two is they celebrate New Year's in February because they use a different calendar. They use a lunar calendar. Number three, there are over 392 rivers in this country. So rivers are a big form of transportation, travel, places for people to live. Teachers are highly respected. They have a day that, hold, that they celebrate and honor teachers and give them gifts and gratitude and all the things that come along with celebrating. And the lotus flower is the national flower. All right, patriots. You know what comes next. You got to use a source to figure out where I'm located. One of these clues might have give, might give you some place to start. The video you're seeing behind me might give you another idea of where to start. But don't forget to use a resource. That could be something down here in the hub, a book. You know it's in the continent of Asia. So maybe Miss Foyle's got a book about Asia. Don't forget you can use an expert. Maybe you know somebody. And Katie Lee is not the expert. She's not going to give you the answer. Maybe somebody else in your family knows, or you can do some research using a reliable website. All right, Patriots, don't forget, I love hearing what you, where you want me to travel, so feel free to send some suggestions my way. Have a great day. Thanks, Ms. Greco. I think I'm going to do some research on the lotus flower. It sounds so beautiful. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Don't forget to submit your guesses to Ms. Greco and use a source. Okay, let's move on. Do we have any birthdays today? Yeah! No, there are no birthdays today. Check back tomorrow. What about lunch? Can you tell us what's on the menu? Today for lunch we are having PB&J to go box, 
French market combo, or crispy chicken drumsticks with egg OG waffles. Vegetable, fruit, and side choices are potato rosters, celery dippers, fresh orange, applesauce cup, or juice. And don't forget your milk and utensils. It's that time, patriots. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and then be seated for a moment of silence. Remember, we are living the questions by feeding our passions and exploring our wonders. Bye!